shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like a sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me, baby? I can't help you. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this awesome modded outfit with the black joggers and the CEO vest. So I hope you guys do come to enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to let me know in the comments if you do also like the outfit. And also let me know by leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. And also comment if you want to see more of these modded outfit tutorial videos. So anyways, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the CEO vest outfit saved. So um, if you guys want to know how to get this, I uploaded a video on it yesterday. So go ahead and watch that so then you know how to get this outfit. So anyways, once you have this outfit, you want to bring up your pause menu, then go to online and swap character. So now you just want to wait until you load into the menu here with your characters. And now if you don't have a female character, you just want to go ahead and do what I do here and select this character. Uh, but if you already have a female character, then just go ahead and load into GTA Online with the female character. And make sure you copy your rank as well so then you can have, you are able to get the components. And also, this might be a male character for you. If it is a male character, just change the sex to from male to female. And anyways, once you've done that, you just want to press save and continue. And just enter a random name, anything like that. So now once you've done this, you just want to wait until you load into GTA Online. So that will take a couple of minutes because you will have to um, watch the Diamond Casino intro. But anyways, once you've loaded into GTA Online, just like I have here, you're going to go ahead and make your way over to any clothes store, just like I have here. So I've made my way over to the Suburban. So you just want to go ahead and go inside and uh, you might your character might have some accessories on so if, she, if your character does then make, sure, make sure you take all of them off but if you don't you, need, you still need to go over to the accessory section anyway because we're going to be putting on the, some gloves so for the gloves you want to go down to number 50 which will be the, um, the black wooden gloves so you just want to go ahead and select them now you want to make your way over to the pants section So once you're at the pants section, you want to go down to the bottom where it says utility pants and you want to go ahead to number 37, which is the second from the bottom and equip the black battle pants. So now once you have that, you want to turn around and go over to the top section. Now you want to go down to bustiers and you want to go to number 17, which should be the white lace bustier. So you just want to scroll down to number 17 and you should see this white lace bustier. So you want to go ahead and buy that and then equip it. Now you want to go back up to the top and go over to sports jackets. Now you want to go down to number 101, which is pretty close to the bottom, and equip the blue puffer jacket. So it should be just right here. I'm going to go ahead and buy that and then equip it. So now once you have bought that, you want to back out from the top section. And now you just want to bring up your um, interaction menu. And then you want to go down to inventory. You want to go over to the body armor, so just like I have here. You want to go down to show armor, and then you want to go ahead and equip the heavy armor. So it should be the screen armor here. So you want to make sure you have that equipped. So now once you have that equipped, you want to go over to the front desk and you just want to go ahead and save this outfit. So save it into a slot 2 just like I do here. So you can just name that wherever you want. So you just want to go ahead and save that outfit. Now once you've saved it, you want to go down, you want to go over to the pants section. So we'll be making a second outfit for the shoes for this um with the outfit. You want to go down to sports pants and go to sport muscle pants. So now once you have the sport muscle pants on, you want to go over to the shoe section just like I do here. So you just want to go over to the section, go to, over to boots, then you want to scroll down to number 49, which should be the red cowboy boots. So you just want to scroll um, down to the bottom, and now you want to go down to number 49, which should be number 49, and you will see the red cowboy boots. So now, as you can see, the red cowboy boots are here, so you just want to go ahead and buy them and equip them. Now you want to go ahead and put on the heavy armor once again, because it did take it off by switching the um, pants. So once you have that back on, you can just make your way over to the desk again and then just save the outfit. So you just want to go ahead and save it under the second outfit in the first slot. Just under that outfit we just saved and then just save it as whatever you want. I'm just going to name it shoes because it's the shoes component for the outfit. So now you should see you have these two outfits saved. So now once you have that, you want to bring up the interaction menu, go to the bottom and you want to just take the easy way out. So this will force a game save. So now once you've loaded back in, you just want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu, go to online and now go down to creator. So now you just want to go ahead and select creator and then just wait until you load into creator. So it will take a couple of seconds. So now once you load in, you want to go down to create a race. So you want to press X to select that and press land race. So now it will take you back into the sky and load back in. Now for the first few details for the race details. 
uh, the title, description, and photo, you can just do that whatever. Then after that, you need to make sure that the maximum players is on two, the route type is on point to point, and then the, they're, they're the two things you need to make sure uh, on them um, exact things. So you want to make sure it's maximum players of two and route type point to point. Then if you want, you can you can just change the car to supercar, so it's just quicker. So now you want to for the trigger location, you want to just walk over to the airport, so like I do here. So that'll take a couple of seconds, and then just place the trigger location right there. And then for the lobby camera, just take a random picture. Now for the checkpoints, you want to roughly do the same as me. So just, just roughly copy what I do here. And then you need to make sure the race length is around 0.72 to 0.79. So in between that will work. So now once you have that just laid out kind of like mine, you want to go ahead and test the race. So you, this will take about 20 seconds. So you just want to wait until you f uh, the race is finished. So it will only take a couple of seconds. So now once you finish the race, you'll get this pop up on the screen. So it'll say you've completed your test race. So you just want to go ahead and accept that alert. Now you want to bring up the pause menu and really quickly go over to online. Go to choose character and just go ahead and select that. So now once you've loaded in, you want to go ahead and delete your female character. And once you delete your female character, you want to wait for the character to walk back out. And you want to press circle or B to return back to story mode. So that'll only take a couple of seconds. And you want to make sure you don't load in with your male character, otherwise you will mess up the glitch. You want to make sure you return to story mode. Now once you're back in story mode, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online and then just start the invite only session. So now once you've loaded back into GTA Online, you want to make sure you go ahead and save the CEO vest outfit. So you want to go ahead and go to the front desk and just save it into the very last slot, just like I do here. And you should see that the two outfits have saved and they'll be in the second and first slot. So you just want to go ahead and save this outfit into the last slot. So now once you've done that, you can just name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Vest, the CEO Vest. I'm going to bring up your pause menu, go to Online, go down to Rockstar Creative and Versus. And you want to go ahead and start Crooked Cop. So now you just want to wait until you load into that. Then once you load in, you want to make sure you put the clothing onto player owned. Now you just want to wait for a friend to join or a random person to join and just start it up. So now once you've loaded in, you want to change, you want to press round the D-pad twice to scroll through the outfits and then you should see that you have this outfit. So now you just want to ready up and then just wait to load into the job. So now once you've loaded into the job, you just want to go ahead and bring up your interaction menu, go to style accessories and equip a rebreather or an earpiece, then you just want to bring up your phone and then just quit the job using your phone. So now once you've done that, you just want to go ahead and wait until you load back into GTA Online, which should only take a couple of seconds, and you should spawn behind the ammunition store, just where I spawn in a second, so you just want to wait until you load back in. So now I've spawned behind the ammunition store, and now you just want to make your way over to the front of the ammunition store, or you can just go to a clothes store and then go ahead and save the outfit. I'm just going to make my way into the ammunition store here. So once you're in the ammunition store, just, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So that is actually the outfit done, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make a really cool outfit with a helmet and a mask merge. So if you just want to see the outfit, then you can click off here. If you want to see how to make the outfit even more better, then make sure you stay to watch this last part where I merged the hat and helmet. So you just want to make it over to any mask store and you want to go over to the mask section. Now when you're there, you want to go down to the crime. So I accidentally went down, but you're supposed to go up. You want to go over to crime and then you want to go ahead and equip the black t-shirt mask. So once you've equipped the black t-shirt mask, you want to go ahead and save the outfit because the, if you did a rebreather, then the, it has the rebreather saved. So you just want to go ahead and save the outfit, then you want to go to the hat section. Now you, now you want to go down to the bulletproof helmets, and you want to make sure that you have the black bulletproof helmet bought. You do not want to equip it, you just want to make sure that you have it purchased. Now you want to make your way over to the pier, which is just literally just over here. So you just want to make your way over here, and then we're going to be doing the telescope glitch for the next part, to merge the helmet and the mask. So you just want to go to the telescope, and then just run past it, just like I do here. So you just want to run past it, spam right in the d-pad, and then bring up your interaction menu. Go to style accessories and then scroll through the helmets until you find the black bulletproof. So 
So it, there's the black bulletproof helmet. So now once you have it equipped, you just want to walk away from the telescope, and you will see the mask emerges onto that outfit. So now once you see that, you can just go ahead and get back on my, well I'm just going to get back on my presser. You just want to make your way over to any clothes store, or you can go back to the mask store. I'm just going to go to the clothes store, we was just at a minute ago. So now once I've made my way over to the clothes store, you can just go ahead and go inside and just save the outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do like this outfit, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And also comment if you want to see more uh, model outfit tutorials like these. And also leave a like because it does help out. And also subscribe to my channel if you're new and you enjoy these type of videos. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. And peace.